Hello everybody. I am back with my second video. Thank you to those that have subscribed and liked my video. And uh, also thank you to the people that have given me some constructive criticism just so that I can go ahead and take a look at how we might be able to save money moving forward. And hopefully I'll have some news for you within the next couple weeks as to what my husband and I have decided. So I went ahead and downloaded the monthly budget sheet from the Budget Moms Free Resources to take a look at an overall view of where our money's going every month. And so this monthly budget is for April of 2022. As far as income goes, my husband and I are both hourly employees. Now I am paid monthly and he's paid work weekly. But because of that, our income is pretty variable depending on how many hours we work during our uh, pay period. So what I've done is I've taken the least amount or the lowest check that we've gotten within the last 12 months and use that to build this budget. Keep in mind that based on the totals that we have here, we usually do bring in anywhere from five to six hundred dollars more and we've just been spending that frivolously. So income number one comes in at three thousand nine hundred ninety. Second one comes in at two thousand six sixty eight. And then we don't have any extra income that comes in. So if we add those two together, we're looking at six thousand six hundred and fifty eight. So that's gonna be the minimum amount that we'll bring in monthly. So I went ahead and pre-wrote in all of our categories just to make this video a little shorter. Uh, what we budget for rent is a is two thousand um, dollars. It's never gone up to two thousand, but it runs around nineteen hundred and something. So we feel comfortable with two thousand dollars. Our energy and gas comes in at about 250. What I did was I looked at the highest number within the last 12 months and that's what I used. Now this is subject to change now that energy and gas prices are starting to go up. Now subscriptions come in at $119 a month. That includes our Peloton subscription, Microsoft, and things like that. Apple gets $56. My husband did need a new cell phone. So we went ahead and got that finance 0% from Apple. Our cell phone bill comes in at about 162. Internet comes in at about 169. Our car insurance is 163. And then our pet insurance, we've got two little Pouchons who are very high maintenance, but I love them to death. And their insurance comes in at about 143 a month. Now please note that I have rounded up on all of these values in order to uh, make this budgeting a little easier for me. So when I add my fixed expenses, that comes to 3,062. So we're getting $3,062 that goes out in fixed expenses. If we go down to debt, uh, based on the video that I released last, I was able to calculate that all of our credit card payments monthly comes in at about 
Then we've got that private loan for 941 and then our student loan at 171. If we add our debt together, we're looking at $2,471. Let's move on to the variable expenses. So I've been monitoring our spending this month in order to generate a better uh, total here. I'm sorry if you can hear my dogs in the background. Um, and these are the totals I've come up with. Obviously we're getting started, so this may need to be adjusted and tweaked as things go forward. So for food, we're looking at about $100 a week, which is $400 for the month of April. Gas, we're looking at $200. This month so far, we've only had to fill up once in the first two weeks. So I'm taking a look to see if, in fact, we're going to be doing two fill-ups per car a month. And hopefully the $200 is going to go ahead and be enough. For pets, I budget $150. Our dogs are um, poodle bichon mixes, so they actually have to get groomed every six to eight weeks. And so that's what I am allotting that money to. I'm looking to give my husband and I $100 a month for spending. Obviously, it's just to get started, and then from there, we can adjust that. I have a feeling it's gonna be much less than that, but just wanna make sure we don't underestimate. And then for miscellaneous, $50. Now when we add those totals together, that comes in at an even thousand. And then last but not least is savings. Now, we don't want to get blindsided by Christmas. And we decided to do the 52-week challenge this year. Now, we're doing the 52-week challenge twice because we always thought that um, we can use one for Christmas and then the other one just send to extra debt or use that money for anything that we may need uh, urgently throughout the year. So for the month of April, we're looking at 75 going into one challenge because it's from the monthly paycheck. So we're looking at weeks 13, 14, 15, and 16. And if you add those together, it's 75. And then 52 week number two, we're looking at $58. And that is obviously 13, 14, 15, and 16. Um, done month, done weekly. Technically, it should be the same, I would think but I want to say that I was behind on one of them and that's why it's higher so the total for this is $133 I'll go ahead and take a look at that and then when we follow up on this at the end of April I'll have a better idea of where that went so our total income is coming in as six thousand six hundred fifty eight now, if we add up our expenses, that's coming in as, and we can take that from, when we 
subtract the 6666 from the 6658, we're looking at an amount that is negative $8. Now, this is looking at our bare amount of income. And obviously, we have a lot of areas that we can revisit. Um, our cell phones, for instance, we can possibly talk to our cell phone provider to see if we can lower that. Our internet, um, I'm sure we can take a look at some of the subscriptions to bring that down. This is just looking at what we're currently spending. And even though that is a negative number, knowing that we usually bring in about five to $600 more, I'm not too concerned about that. So this has been my April 2022 overall budget. If you have any questions or concerns, definitely feel free to comment. And if you'd like to see more videos on me moving towards our debt-free journey in order to buy a home, uh, please like and subscribe to this channel. Thank you, and I hope you're having a wonderful day.